Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mokulover of course, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as the Ottoman Empire. Right now, we have a few small issues in the southern region of the country, we'll say, but regardless, we have an island alone. The island of Adakala. As an oddity in that it remained an enclave of the Ottoman Empire long after it got pushed away from the Danube frontier. An oddity that seemingly got undone after the Austrian occupation of the island, but de jure, it was still legally a domain of the Sultan. However, with the outbreak of hostilities in the Middle East, and the Ottomans being preoccupied with the conflict there, and the Austrians' withdrawal of troops post Black Monday, the island stood alone in Ottoman possession in the middle of the Danube, a relic of ages past, a relic which Romania saw as far more useful in its hands than outside them. Rapidly establishing control over the small islet, Romanian authorities proclaim that the island is officially part of Romania, however that the local populace's rights shall still be respected. It remains to be seen how Ottoman authorities will react to this transgression, gosh darn it. But regardless, this is not exactly where we left off yesterday, I was just playing a little bit off screen just because it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, we're struggling down here, but we I wouldn't say we've broken through the Saudi lines, but I'm making a beeline for the capital, so we'll see what happens. Um. This is still a mess. We couldn't quite get Jerusalem, but we're trying to break out here so we can get some supplies through here as well. So things are just really, really messy. If you see, we got encircled there. And the Persians, well, the Persians are doing, they're doing Persian things, so. And if anything, actually, if we could push through here, this would actually really help our line out. That could actually really, really help our line out. Because we won't need to have one, two, three, four divisions guarding this area. So we could probably actually push right there because this part of the line not looking super great. We've actually encircled some. We killed the division right there, which is awesome as well. Uh, let's see. I want to save. I want to save that division. So if I could have you guys come this way as well, that would be quite delightful. Actually, I want to save that division as well. So actually, you guys go right there. Ha il. We almost have the capital. We got a couple comms to go through as well. Hey, we actually broke through. Look at that. We actually broke through. Oh, but we're about to get encircled again. Oh boy. Good. Just keep pushing up north, maybe. Hmm. If you could retreat, that would be great. Um, keep these guys here. I don't know what you, you're doing, but go right there. Even if they take this tile, I mean, as long as we get right here, we'll be okay. We're oh god dang it, we're only attacking just so that we can make sure that they do, they do not move anymore. Go ahead and retreat up this way. That is actually fine with me. Retreat this way too. There you go. Let them come in. It'll be fine. And once we can take that spot, that'll be great. We've got the capital. Now we're going for Hulfuf. But yeah, we got some comms to go through, which will be kind of important to go through, actually. Sort of important. Quite important. Oh, uh, the first one was, was it under here? Oh, Edenim. So this was one of the comments. This will set the game to use native names for its states and victory points. Enden, Endonyms. Wait, the dynamic renaming of them enabled. Oh, Constantinople. Or, Constantia. I never knew that. Baghdad. Oh, that's so, that's so cool. I love that. I love that a lot. I love doing that too in like EU4. Uh, let's see. Izmir, Smyrna. Oh. Adrianopol, Adirne. Oh, that's so cool. I've got to keep that on. Al Hofof. That's so awesome. I love it when things are like, when things like that happen. Cool, but we still got to kill these guys off. So we got to get back to Mecca. And then San Sanaa. Oh boy, you guys are getting walloped. Come on, please retreat. Oh, they're taking out these towers more and more. You got encircled, but I don't think that's going to be a really big problem if we do that. Oh, they got over there too. Oh, and we just reformed the conscription system so we get more manpower now. Now, one of the comments from yesterday said I should not do that. Yeah, there's a little bit of support for me to do this, but there's almost overwhelming support for me to not consolidate the military dictatorship. So, even though I want to, you guys have spoken, and there's just like overwhelming support for us to not do this. So, we'll go with lift the state of emergency. So... And I know some people do want me to take this, but th there's overwhelming support at this point that don't do this. <laughs> so it gets a good thing that we didn't go with that path then. Cool. Uh, let's see. One military factory? Eh, it's not really worth it. Get some... We could use some divisions right now. Let's go with that. Standardized military equipment. Although the Ottoman army is undoubtedly the best equipped force in the entire Middle East, there's no nonetheless a massive issue with regards to standardization with many rifles, artillery pieces, and other tools coming from a wider array of manufacturers. This diversity has led to significant strain on our supply lines, further complicated by the unreliability of many of its former owners engulfed by socialist strife. Oh, that's not looking great. But hey, let's get this guy out. That'd be good. Can we at least... I don't want to continue to be encircled, but can we at least do something here? Maybe... We gotta break out some way somehow, right? I'm sure we'll find a solution. We've got to, right? Okay, so how many times do we have to capture your gosh darn capital? We, we did it twice. We gotta. Oh, that's still not cool. We'd go all the way over there, go there, go up the other way to there, all the way to the tip, and back there. That'll be fine. Uh, let's see. You're both coming that way. That's so dumb to capitulate the Saudis. Are you? Oh, 
Hey, there we go. Look, not bad. So you guys, I'm going to have you guys actually tactically retreat this way. That'll be smart. You guys hold these guys in place for now, actually. Because I'm going to have a, a better fallback line. You guys hold and actually retreat yourselves as well. Alright, so you guys are doing okay. We're going to retreat this way as well. You guys both come here. We're going to try to get out of here. Got to save our divisions. Divisions are good to save. Totally fine with me. You guys are just attacking. Keep these guys in place. Okay, Saudi Arabia's gone. Great news. Thank you very much. I knew we could capitulate them pretty quickly. So at this point, we're going to go and do this as well. Let's go all, go, go all the way down here. And just go. Capitulate these guys as fast as possible. That is actually really, really great. Get these guys in place. Get you guys to leave, maybe. Oh, you, we might get in circle here. Oh, oh, that's not good. Look at this Turkestan. Keep holding, keep holding. Uh, Keep beating these guys up. How are we doing over here? They're still trying to beat us over there. That's not too bad. Oh, we're actually not winning over here. That's really not ideal, but whatever. I mean, it would be good if we could get that, but it's not super, super necessary. Ooh, fortify Baghdad. It's not bad. I'll get the manpower back, basically. Oh, you know what? We're going to do it. Is that is it just Baghdad, or is it every province? In the state. In a province in the state. Uh, oh, what is this? Abolish the Hamidiyah. If you want to read about this, go right ahead. But we get stability if we do that. More integration. We get 50%. We basically are forced to do that. So let's do that one then. Cool. Wow, we really need more some more manpower, don't we? You pieces of garbage. I hate these guys so much. Oh, there goes Greece. Good job, guys. You hold. And we will rescue you. You'll go there. I oh, could probably stop attacking too. That'd probably be a good idea. Alright, so where actually are all of you guys? So do this. That's what you should really be doing. Nice, we beat them up. That is good. You guys are over here. The cavalry, I want them to move and act. You guys are fine acting as well. You guys are trying to spread out over there, which is actually fine, but not really super necessary. You're level 3. You're level... Oh, eh. Uh, you guys are over there. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. Now we have a bigger force. Now that is going to be nice. Mobile defense. Good. 10% more defense. Nice. Grab some integrated support because I love, love, love support co companies. Beat the snot out of them. Come on. You know what? We got them already there. Help them out. There you go. Ooh, if we get attacked down there, that'd be great. Come on, cavalry. Go, go, go. Oh, maybe I should give you orders, actually. I thought I did, but whatever. You guys get down to Sana'a. Sana'a. Very cool. Hey, look at that. We rescued all these guys. Beautiful. Now, you guys can actually, instead, hold, spread out like this. And all I want you to do is contain them. Get all the way over there if you can. Because we will navally invade eventually, as long as they don't navally invade us. We're still doing fine on fuel. We will invade Cyprus as well. Not too bad. We're actually doing well now. Woo! Not bad. And you guys, Australian guard coup. Good luck with that, guys. I guess. We don't need to guard that because we'll have some infantry going that way anyways. And we're right there. Hey, we overran a division. Look at that. Nice. Sunk a convoy. We got to take all this stuff back. That's fine. Whatever. They completely left it wide open. You know what? Don't let them move. Oh, Adirne. No, no. Medina. 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 Yeah, that'd be good. Cut them off. Help them out. Oh, we get, there's a good chance we could get in circle here, but now, no. We say no to you. Gosh darn infidels, I, I would say. All right, so how are we looking here? We're still doing some air superiority stuff. That's good. Uh, did they push us back here yet? No, they did not. So that's pretty good as well. They put up three divisions up there, so that's actually smart of them. Uh, let's see. So talking about this off, was it? I think it was this thing. If you get to, to even lower, like if we do insult loyal administrators, you get... I mean, it's already a core state, but you can, like, maybe get even more factories, maybe? I forget. With low... Villayettes. With unrest value higher than medium, will furthermore also activate resistance and can lead to open revolt if unchecked. Well, where else here? So this is not a core. Let's go ahead and lower this. So that should make it a core. We should get no resistance. Save some guns. Actually, how are our guns doing? Not... Wow! I'm glad we capitulated the Saudis. That's actually really, really good. Get back over here. Oh, what the heck is going on here? No, you should be able to kill these guys off. Actually, oh, maybe should have went that way. Kill them off. Get rid of these guys. Good. Hey, we made it in circumvent. That's what we like to see. Oh, cavalry, do you have an upgrade? 
Eh, attrition speed's okay. It's not really worth it, I think. Kill the division off. At the very least, just kill them off. You don't need to attack that way. There you go. Oh, we got two divisions in here. That's pretty good. Hey, more infantry. Don't mind if we do. So, finish off this part of the East, Middle East. And then, let's get the Ottoman Armor Project. Then take out Egypt, and then take out the Persians. Although the army is no longer no stranger to armored vehicles, sporting a variety of armored cars during the Valkyrie and taking command of a variety of Mark V tanks from the British Empire, the Empire nonetheless lacks the capability to establish an armored corps. To rectify the issue, a special commission has been tasked with expanding our supply of armored vehicles and provide adequate training. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, if you guys are going to be this pathetic, then don't do anything. Hold. That's all I want you to do is hold, then. You guys should have zero issue killing these guys off, though. Like, for realsies. How are you... How, how are they not dead yet? Seriously, I don't care if they're in the desert or not. You stop attacking. You're gonna just cut these guys off. Come on. Good, it's 39. Let's grab some more output. We already have. Construction 3. Don't mind if we do. Factories, not bad. I'm gonna start building some more military factories. We need them. Oof. A deer net. There we go. Bulgaria joined the Reich's Pact. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, keep trying to attack us. See what happens. Legation cities join the Entente. Well, good luck, guys. Can I actually do force defense? No. Hey, kill them off. Come on, just kill them off. Are you even moving, or... Because I want to kill that infantry division. That's a pretty strong division. Come on, come on, get rid of them. Where are you guys headed? Help them out. A oh, second Hejazi revolt. Even the Ottoman control over the Hejaz was re-established during the closing stages of the Valkyrie. The prestige of the region and the martial deeds performed by its population during the Arab revolt have kept a certain romanticized image of the event alive. With the Ottoman troops stuck fighting in Kurdistan and Anatolia itself against the rising tide of conservative opposition, many Jeddah and Mecca see this as an opportunity to rekindle the old conflict and to dust off the Hashemite banner. The presence of Ottoman garrisons in the region and the presence of the Hejaz railway, however, greatly complicate this new attempt at independence as a limited supply of both arms and manpower can only temporarily keep Ottoman reinforcements at bay. We've been there once before. We can do it again. Nope. Nope. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, let's see. General Nursi Nuri Pasha's mausoleum and saw the Second Corps command in Gallipoli. Nursi Pasha was also saddened by the lack of proper recognition paid to the fallen soldiers there during the Veltkrieg, and he had sold his house in Constantia. Spent all of his savings in order the construction of a mausoleum to honor the 16,000 Turkish boys that fell at Zingindera. Collecting the bones and still largely scattered in the fields of the battle, he has pla carefully placed them with prayers in a marble shrine. Having himself served as a junior officer during the Vel Krieg on the Gallipoli front, he hopes that with his actions, their deeds will be immortalized as they will be seen as the martyrs they truly were. Well, that'll be good. Now, kill these guys off. You have more than enough strength to do so. I will force the attack right now. The second air revolt. Let's hope they have more sexist. This one. Yeah, no. You kill these guys off so that we can get out of here. Saudi Arabia declared one Hijaz. Everyone hates Hijaz. Oh, this is not good. Basically, ooh, we gotta hurry up. Ooh, if we took, I wanted to destroy that division though, you never know. Oh! Go straight to hell, Saudi Arabia, goodbye. Actually, we might liberate Jabal Shema, we'll see what happens. Let's see, good. It is 39, let's grab some more engineers. Even though I don't know if our soldiers have engineers, they probably have nothing on them. Probably nothing, ooh, we got camels, ooh, look at that. We could use camels if we wanted to, but I'm not sure they're really worth it right now, maybe, maybe not. Better guns? Yes, please. Thank you. We could use more steel, too. Oh, they push us out, but they can't break us through here. You really want to kill me off, don't you? I really want to kill them off, though, too. Come on. Get rid of these guys. You have more than enough strength to do so. Got... I mean, we're keeping the Persians at bay, so I, I think we're doing pretty darn well there. What's going on? The fate of Arabia? Oh, that's right. That's fine. We'll probably release Jabal Shamad again, which would be a good thing. Yeah, you guys should be able to do all this stuff. I mean, it would be a little difficult... Are you kidding me? Force the attack. Force them out. Actually, you know what? You're coming this way. You're just going to hold. Defend, defend, defend. Good. <sighs> what? No. Just hold then. You'll be fine holding. It'll be fine. Sana'a. God, I hate these people so much. You should be able to win. They cannot get that much strength doing stuff down here. So, And it's going to be costing us quite a few casualties, but you know what? So be it. How are they winning over here? Yeah, it's only one division, but still, man. Still. Um, we've lost 58,000, which actually isn't too bad. They've only lost 113,000. That's not enough. No, 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 no. They are going to be paying their price in blood. 
Not just from these guys, but their sons, too. You start attacking them, make sure that they can't do anything else here. You start attacking there, you start attacking here. We've got to stop their assaults on us and start really just beating the snot out of them. Ottoman Armor Project. Cool! Hey, that actually will help out quite a bit. Let's see. Air Doctrine. Let's get some more daily air XP. We, ha we have need for a better air force to support our ground forces. Let us take the time to reorganize the command structure of the Army Aviation Command to promote good officers and ensure that we can recruit the best pilots. That sounds like a really, really good idea. And which we're going to use them right now, and I'm going to smash the living hell out of these Egyptians, probably. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mehmet? Yes. Actually, we're going to smash the hell out of these guys first, probably, but there's a lot of mountains here. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to race you guys right here. And we're going to cut these guys off. Doing the best we can, even if they come up here. That's fine with me. No, no, that's okay. Help them out. Push them out. Push them back in. Oh, Hijaz is gone. Oh, all we had to do is get them back? Nice. Nice. Yeah, you can go die now. Let them come out more, so this way they can, like, abandon their area. That'd be good. Alright, good. Uh, I'm gonna actually have you guys come here, then. Take that. Oh, the tanks... Oh, the tanks... Well, one of the tanks divisions has made it. Oh, you guys are all the way up there. Holy cow. Look at that. Sink their stupid little crappy convoys. As long as they can't pierce us, that's all that matters, right? Oh, we might have lost the cavalry division, too. Oh, boy. Well, that's not ideal. Now, these guys are going to die here. We will make sure that they will never be remembered. You should be able to win here. No questions asked. No, 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 no. You better win here. I'm not going to give up the attack until they're all dead, so. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me at all. Lesbos joins the revolt. In sympathy for the compatriots in Cyprus, a variety of Greek islands in the northern Aegean have joined the revolt, ousting the Armin Garrisons. People have taken up arms in, in a stance of defiance, rivaling that of the Turco Greek. The Turkish Greek War over the century ago. Naval bases of the Turkish regime have suffered considerable damage as the Aegean squadron was forced to evacuate after terrorist bombing on the Syaz Sisayam cruiser earlier this week. Uh, opening up the Dardanelles to the Greek fleet, the loss of these islands is seen as a strategic calamity for the defense of the capital and the super naval superiority in the Aegean. What a shame. What a shame. Unfortunate. Actually, just deploy them early. It's fine. If they leave, well, then we just basically capitulate them then. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about this. There you go, something like that. I mean, th the Greeks have already lost their own war against the Austrians. So I'm not sure what they're up to. Like this is really stupid by them, but whatever. Nope, you're gonna keep you're gonna keep attacking. I'm, we're not giving up the attacks until they're all dead. All these guys are gonna die as well. No peace for these guys. Absolutely no peace. Oh look, what happened over here? Sunk one of their ships? Not good enough. These guys have got to be out of equipment. I mean, the amount of crap they're pulling against us is god-awful. Thousand manpower? Syria's gonna die. I mean, once we're done here, Syria will just be a memory. Oof! Yeah, force the attack. Killed every single one of them off. Man. What, what? They're not retreating? What? Can we actually attack and win over here? I'm gonna force, have you force the attack. Maybe we could win, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Probably not, but we'll see. The Persians, they're not even trying anymore, which is fine, but still. Once these guys are gone, we're going to push down here, take out Yemen. Once Yemen's gone, then we're going to really focus down here. And actually, I'm going to probably just naval invade, actually. Seriously, even using tanks is still not enough. But the... We'll get to that one, but we're going to wait to do this one. The Tara yeah, Mektebi, that's the first place our new pilots go to train. It is a flight school after all. We must procure better funding, newer facilities, and more capable instructors in order to create a new generation of amazing pilots. Sounds very, very bueno. Very good. You're starting to lose, so don't lose. Did we win here? Maybe not. Yeah, these guys are god-awful. This is just god-awful, I would say. Oof. Resistance? Actually, we could probably put down some more resistance. Uh, no, it's pretty good over there. Put down the resistance now. Thank you very much. We could do that. Resistance struggles. Well, we could do that twice. And have them stop revolting. What a great thing. They don't want to give up now? Well, they will give up their lives then. Grab some artillery. That'd be good. Yeah, keep everyone just force the attack here. Just kill them off. 
Is that these guys spread out too? That's totally fine. Totally, totally, totally fine. Begin attacking. These guys are all gonna die. Oh, wow, look at that. A lot less manpower now. Oh, if, oh, crud, I can't do that one. Well, that sucks. I forgot to do that. That's kind of stupid. Actually, I'm not sure there was an event to do anything with that, but I might just core that territory. I might not. I don't know at this point. Just because I'm so busy focused on other things, I don't really care about Arabia right now. I don't understand why why you don't have... You can't release them later. I mean, you, right? I mean, let's take a look. I don't understand this. I do not understand why at the time of this recording, in Kaiserreich, why you cannot release states later on. I don't understand. Like, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to liberate or puppet other nations. It just doesn't make any sense. It, you need maybe time to do so later. Two months? Sometimes you need more than two months. Sometimes you need three months. Maybe half a year. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would? Why are we forced to do that then? Never understood that. Because sometimes there's bigger issues at play that you just can't deal with. People's liberation. So We have eight divisions stuck here. They're about to all die. So And, it's, and about this, if we take this tile, then these guys will all die here too. India's on fire. Totally fine. Totally, totally okay with me. Uh, she got pilgrims enact the... Ooh, what is that? Uh, this thing? Ooh, more unrest. More, uh, could give some political power, but that's kind of okay. So, we lost the tank division already. That sucks. And you are kind of pathetic, but not really. Just because attacking over the water is a pretty bad thing anyways. We'll get rid of them. Oh, they're actually attacking us again. Alright, well, at least they're doing something. So, three divisions over there. It's fine. Are we out of guns? Yeah, we really are. Wow. Alright, where's the revolt? Honestly, at this point, you need to have something in the game where you can just say, Alright, you revolt. <laughs> We're going to commit war crimes. Like, seriously, like... Civilian oversight. Not bad. Secret police, harsh quotas. Like, I don't even care about quotas. Quotas don't interest me, interest me right now. Like, I'm talking about some serious revolt crackdown. Like, like it'll make this Armenian thing happen... Or what happened here look like a joke. <laughs> There's got to be something in the game. Let's put on some more resistance here. Cool. Expand this thing, Mabab. Let's grab another military factory. The Vesihi Horkus was the first aviation engineer we ever had, and he served with the distinction in the Valkyrie. With his help, we have developed a proper factory dedicated specifically to the development of new aircraft. Tayar and Motor Torque Anonym. Surketti, with this moder modern factory, we'll build planes and, and that we are the envy of the world. Well, that's great. You get a whole one factory. Okay, so guys, I know you're trying hard, but it's not good enough. These are literally eight divisions here, and they have to die. They have to die right now. You cannot wait around. And what I don't understand right now is how are these guys literally not starving for supplies? Second Melbourne Uprising. This doesn't make any sense. Don't these guys usually have to starve for supplies? Like... If they're not starving for supplies, <laughs> we've got a massive issue if they get more and more supplies constantly. Because they have no port here. So this doesn't make any sense. They should be dead, like, now. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that they went over there, too. It's fine. We're not giving up the attack. Nope. These... I... I seriously. Are these are these just like perfect soldiers? They don't need supplies. They don't need food. They don't need water. They don't need more guns. They don't need anything like that. That is very very suspect. Incredibly suspect. Especially since the out of supply like for any division is already gone over. We've been here for at least a week, and they're still not dying. Something has got to give. Like this is there's no supply coming out of here. There's literally no victory points. That is not. That doesn't make any sense. Look at that. 94 point... Why is it going up still? Very high unrest? There's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing we can do about that. That is so dumb. That is... And you can't even lower it because you have no modifier thing there. There's some serious issues that need to be looked at, though. Enemy soldiers that get infinite supply? That's gotta be looked at. Uh, the other... Like... Resistance stuff up here. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what to say anymore about that. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Forts. Get another military factory. We must reorganize our military production facilities into a proper network of organized factories. Established in the Askeri Fabric Lar Umum 
Mulder Lugu will ensure that well-coordinated orders are directed to our various domestic weapons manufacturers and the troops from the Hejaz to Gallipoli are well supplied. Well, that'd be nice, but, you know, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Monarchy restored in Greece. Uh, let's see, I'm actually going to throw you guys, I'll say it's ultimatum. Ooh, how are these guys looking? I'm going to throw you guys over here just in case. You probably could do actually another soldier. That'd probably be pretty good to do. Cool, you guys are killing each other off. Second Valkyrie, great. Good luck, guys. Good luck to those guys down there. And I hope you guys can actually win the battle because this is getting annoying. This is very, very annoying. Like, this should have been done weeks ago. And yeah, I know it's a mountain, but I don't care. I really don't. Uh, go, come back to Beirut. You'll be okay up there. You know, if it's very high, we could probably decentralize it. It doesn't even matter, probably. No, oh, they're really pissed off. Oh, watch out. No one cares. Oh, there goes Denmark. Okay, well, hello, Denmark. No, 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 don't, don't, don't attack, don't attack. Good, good, good. It's, it's 39. Air stuff. Uh, we're going to do some air doctrine stuff. I think we're, what are we using? Tactical bombers or close air support? We're using, well, supposedly tactical bombers, so. Let's go ahead and go with this one. Operational integrity. That'd be good. Are you done yet? Construction 3 is good. Let's grab some more resource efficiency gain. Probably. Like, either the horses are going to die here or these enemies. Like, there's no in between. I'd rather kill my divisions off that way then. Uh, they're not attacking. They're not moving, which is still pretty good. Anything else? Like, this is really disappointing. I mean, this is really, really disappointing down here. Hmm, let's get back up here. Uh, is there anything we can do about the resistance? Not, not really, no. You can do that once. That's it. Hmm, <laughs> Look at them. They're just flooding through here because you guys are incompetent. How are you this incompetent? There's no way that these soldiers are this incompetent. There's absolutely no way. I'm sorry if I'm raging right now, but this is BS. They get basically infinite supply down here. I just... This is too frustrating. This is incredibly frustrating. How have you not won and killed these guys off yet? This doesn't make any sense. And I know these divisions aren't that great, but it doesn't matter. That should not have taken that long. That absolutely should not have taken that long. That is pathetic. That is absolutely god-awful. Now, can we just go ahead and kill these guys off, please? Finally. Now, get down there. And you guys keep defending. Director of the military factories, maximize production. If it, yeah, we got military factory means nothing. Let's make more guns. Back in the day, the arsenal of the sublime port was revered all across Europe with coward, which cowered before the might of the unstoppable Turkish armies. These days are long behind us, however, as the empire never really quite, quite caught the train of industrialization. And once the grand arsenals fell silent, this soon is to change. However, as a new budget for the armed forces has made room for significant investments, so that'll be good. And we're gonna, you know, I really hope there's extreme punishment for rebellions like this. There's got to be extreme punishments. We've lost 100... We've lost way too many people. Just way too many compared to all these folks. Hmm. Hmm. At least you're getting some more upgrades. That's good, at least. Uh, skirmisher. Eh, that stuff is okay. Not really that important. Does anyone have upgrades? No? Alright. So be it. Whatever. Doesn't really matter too much. And we've about enough. Do that. Declare martial law down there. Uh, is there anywhere else we could declare martial law? Don't need it right there. That'd be fine. No, still looking pretty good in a lot of these areas, actually. Syria, though, what a hot bed of, of activity. All right, you guys can down there, and we're gonna kill off Jeddah. I mean, I am going to get rid of them. Where is the button to commit? Uh, not alive anymore. You guys go right ahead. Just hold them in place. Doesn't matter. Let the cavalry move around as fast as possible. They'll do fine, probably. Uh, we're probably like 10,000 guns out. 15,000 guns, that's what kind of figured. Are you guys moving out? Nope. Good. 
Good, 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 good. You guys are going to keep these guys here. Actually, we're going to attack them probably. Uh, maybe once they're completely encircled. All right, you're taking your sweet time. Let's keep going, guys. Come on. There's a reason why we put you on horseback. Now, we're going to struggle here. My main goal is not to kill them off, though. I'm just going to take the capital. As long as these guys can do something like that, that's all that matters. Oh, they're still attacking around here, but we're doing pretty well. Not too bad. I'm glad we raised a conscription level up. That's pretty good. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Oh, man. Egypt. They're all, all The only thing that people are going to know about Egypt is the pharaohs in the old day. Because once I'm done with these guys here, ooh, boy, that's not going to be good for them. You guys want to keep attacking. What's their stockpile like? It can't be that good. It seems like they've got infin infinite equipment, but they don't. They got enough of this, but they have no infantry equipment. Kind of like us. Maximize military production, that'll help out quite a bit. And we shall do the three black projects. Second Anatolian industrialization. Uh, civilian workshops are open. They're not bad. They're okay. Don't really need them right now. Let's go ahead and grab the three blacks project. Uh, centered around three of the main industrial resources, coal, iron, and oil, the Three Blacks Project aims to expand the domestic production to the point of, that the Ottoman Empire is capable of being self-sufficient. To achieve this goal, the universities of the Empire, in cooperation with institutions or institutes all across Europe, work together or work towards the refinement of extraction methods and exploration of new sites. Very good. You can defend until you die. Good. Well, the world is falling apart now. That's good. Let it fall apart. And hopefully we can do well in the end. As long as no one else rises up against us. Because we fought the Hejaz once. The Saudis. We fought the Yemen. We're fighting Egypt. Syria. And Persia. So like that's like six or seven enemies. So We're doing the best we can. Conscription crisis in... Oh, there's a bot. Alright, I don't really care. Conscription crisis in Quebec. Nice. We're actually waiting down there. That's nice. Alright, so we got them done. Adon. I might recommend you try that sneaky move. You guys come through here, and then you guys come through here and here. See what you can do about that. You guys are actually winning right there, which is pretty nice. If you'd like to. You guys can go right here, to here, here. I would not recommend getting encircled. That's usually not a good thing. Yeah, how many more divisions do they have? They can't have that many more divisions. Up to 24, that's not bad. I will, We will naval invade, so... I, I am so sick of these guys. I am so sick of them. You're going to force the attack. You've got to win. You have got to win. There's no room for failure here. Look at these guys. Look at these suckers. Alright, well, you attack me. I'm going to attack you like crazy. I'm going to be using the tanks and infantry and reserves to help out as well. Oh, no. no, no both tanks didn't die. Oh, only one of them. Cool. Let's grab some mechanized offensives. Not really helpful right now, but whatever. Looking good right there. How? How? Just, just why? You just encircle me. Come on, get to Aiden before they can get over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Empire, the Empire celebrates the Colored Enfranchisement Act. Pass it up. And the bold new course for South Africa. Cool. Eat. Oh, that's good. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. No. To hell with you guys. You've got to win down here. Come on. My gosh, I hate fighting in the Middle East. It's like fighting in Asia. Technically, this is Asia. But it sucks so much. It's so god-awful. Just get down here. Just take the port. Just take the flippin' port. Oh, man. At least we got the port. And you know what? You're not moving. No. Hold. You're, you're staying there. No matter what happens, you're staying there. We're not gonna risk losing that again. No, 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 no. A thousand times no. A billion times no. No, 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 no. Alright, what else we got around here? Let's see, construct stuff. Not too bad, actually. Anything around here? We could centralize a little bit more and then lower this even more. Eh, going to lower it very low. None. Nice. Now that's pretty bueno. Now nah, that's pretty awful. Look, you can either win and kill them off or you can die trying. So, I mean, this is just, this is just pathetic. Just absolutely pathetic. Well, at least these guys are almost done, too, and then we can kill these guys off. Uh, that's good, that's good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, did they push us back? Oh my gosh, they actually did push us back. No, to hell with you. Get out of here, Persia.
Uh, let's get some more breakthrough and defense. That'd be good. It's a little bit ahead of time, but that's alright. Buildings. What the heck? Where did you get that much revolt? Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I, I don't understand this anymore. Okay, so they're, 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 they've are they got to be cheating or something. How do you have infinite supplies here? Infinite supplies. Why? How? I could use some steel probably, actually. Let's see. Do we need steel? Oh, yeah, we could definitely use that steel. Let's get some steel. I've already discovered in the 19th century the coal mines of Zong Uldak. Nonetheless, a little exploitation during the most of the century and it was only with the Valkyrie and the sudden need of coal for the Ottoman fleet that Zong Guldak asserted, asserted itself as an important economic center. With the government plans for domestic steel and production in Karabuk, Zong Dulgak Dak is a, has a key role to play. Yeah, I think the Syrians are cheating. There's no way that they can they can just have infinite supplies like this. How? That's impossible. Absolutely impossible to have infinite supplies. Just to keep attacking, 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 never get any penalty? I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. And I and I, and I apologize. I really do apologize for being oh ragey, but this is this is infuriating. I will never fight in the Middle East again. Like, oh my goodness. This is god awful. This is so bad. Defend. Like, how these guys have infinite supplies just to keep attacking and attacking or defending perfectly? No. No. Because even these guys, they're, they're out of guns. We're out of guns. There's nothing I can do. We got so much resistance, there's nothing I can do. And now the Persians are just, like, attacking all willy-nilly? And they have infinite supplies? No. No, I don't believe that. They, the AI's got to be cheating or something. Because this is ridiculous. All but you. Come right here. Can you please smash them? Can you finally do something? You're not leaving. You're going to help attack. I don't care if the cavalry division dies. You're going to break through here, whether you like it or not. Now we can get 0.99 a day. That's not too bad. I mean, look at that. They keep attacking with nothing. All they have is artillery, but reinvigoration of the Ottoman spirit. Traitors, heretics, kafirs, and other delinquents have dared to bring the sublime port to the brink of collapse, smashing her resolve and catching her pacifist ways by surprise, as the armies of Sultan Shah and Shayak plow through the fertile Mashriki bosom, protected by a grand padishah. The initial shock is making room for anger. Anger moves on to the desire for revenge as the previously beaten armies of the Caliph rally back to the standards. We haven't lost that many battles. The battle drums are beaten, the Imams urge the soldiers to fight for Sultan and Allah, the artillery batteries reloaded, and the Turkish army once in an unstoppable tide set to wipe out Europe, smashes into the decadent hordes of our enemies. Onwards to final victory. Ooh, a lot of Akbar. Uh, yeah. I don't understand why we don't get this earlier. Why the hell do we not get this earlier? We need this er much earlier, because as I pointed out multiple times in this episode, there's so many enemies, and we've done really, really well so far, considering the amount of enemies we've had to ki kill and deal with. But why don't we get this any earlier? We get one more daily pickle power gain every single day, more factory output. I mean, why? Why? We've been in war for like what? Over a year now? Of now we get it? Pfft. For what reason? There's been nothing of essence to even say like we've been doing that well. Like, I don't understand. Why do we get that now? That doesn't make sense. I'm not even sure what to say, like, oh, all of a sudden we get some bonuses? Like, I, I'll take the bonuses. But that should have been, like, honestly, that should be, like, a modifier as time goes on. There should be a modifier that you have to balance. If you lose enough battles, you start doing worse. If you start winning more battles, you start doing more. You might get more political power. That makes more sense. Then all of a sudden, we're just like, oh, we get more political power every day? No. That doesn't make sense. But the Erzincan earthquake. Today, the last of the three violent shocks in the town of Erzincan have been have ceased. The city, which is to be found along the North Anatolian Fault, has been absolutely decimated as a total death toll is rising up to 33,000, with close to 100,000 injured or stuck beneath the rubble. The earthquake, one of the largest in Turkish history, was furthermore followed by blizzards, heavy rains, and flooding, further aggravating the humanitarian humanitarian crisis in the region. All the special funds have already been diverted to Erzikan to assist the Red Crescent and other local authorities. Voices in the capital are increasingly asking for better building regulations and more funding for seismological institutes. A true calamity. I'm not touching that. Nope. Because where is Ezerum? Where's that? Oh, it's right here. Uh, it's pretty low. But since it's low, we probably got to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save up political power. Because oh, we can't deal with more unrest. We just can't. I've got to deal with this unrest right here. So. Uh, actually, is there... It's, there's low stuff. Less resistance. There's no resistance right there. 
Uh, I don't know why. Why don't we get it in Damascus? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, it's def technically a different nation, or a different enemy nation that controls it, but still. Put him down. Put him down. Honestly, don't even declare martial law. At this point, just make it look like it's, it's going to end up like a genocide. I mean, at this point, it's, it's going to be a genocide in my, in my book. There is no peace for these guys. And the Persians are definitely trying, but they'll definitely be dying. And the reason why we can't get any more supplies is because of this all this goddamn resistance. So stupid. So incredibly stupid. Hopefully the infantry can do something here. Hope you can. That'd be great if you could. 95. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hey, you got some more scrap. That's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, that seems pretty good to do. The bustling river. This bustling river is one of the most important natural features of the Middle East, bringing life to otherwise arid deserts and providing an ideal way of communication and transportation. Furthermore, it's not solely an Iraqi river, but also leaves a deep impression on Kurdistan and Anatolia and Syria. By focusing our efforts on this vein, the government hopes to strengthen the Ottoman bonds. Or these Ottoman bonds. Nice. You should have had this weeks ago. Come on. Come on. Take Sa'ana. Ah. Hold on, so we got this buff, and yet we're basically still losing against the Sultanate of Egypt. 50% more defense. 50% more attack, and we're still not doing that well. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, let's see. Actually, these guys want to probably rebel. Do we get resistance here? A little bit of lag. Medium. Ooh, we could probably put it down here. Going from high, go to medium. Let's see, was it here? Oh, we've almost lost the province anyways. Is it really worth keeping that one? We're probably going to lose it, and we'd still be able to defend pretty darn well. Just going to retreat. I'm not going to bother with it then. Uh, We don't need to do that. I would like to centralize areas more. Very high. Very high. Can we do this anymore? Nope. Hmm... There you go. Now that should be a core, and we should have zero resistance here, right? It should be going down. Good. It should be, at least. I'm in infinite strength. Egypt is has infinite strength. Good job, Egypt. Good job. Hold on. Do you guys have cores on this? Yeah, they should not. You know what? Tell these guys. Raise it up even higher. They're going to be pissed off anyways. We don't have to deal with it anyways. That's good. So, how much longer are you going to take cavalry and infantry? Like, seriously. How many people live in Yemen now? Quite a few people, apparently. My goodness, you take forever. And they're finally beating us back. Let's see. Do you, he's learning quite a bit. That's good. That's good. You notice have upgrades to fall of Gibraltar? Well, that's interesting. That's different. Offensive. I'm not going to go defensive. We've got to go offensive. And do you have anything over here? No? Alrighty. Yeah, you're doing slightly better on guns and artillery now. That's good. Fighter baiting, that's not too bad. Let's grab some more research speed. Yes, please. Hmm. Seriously, either win or die. Like, at this point, I'd rather not have you guys fighting at all because you're just disappointing. <laughs> It's just disappointing looking at this. That's all you need, probably, is, is that. Because I don't see any other victory points. What is this? What? Oh, we don't have the Tigers anymore. That's right. Of course, why? Why would we? Mm, confiscate privy stuff. I don't want to lower any more stability. Well, we could abolish full neutrality, but then we lose 10% core, uh, defense on core territory, and I don't want to do that. Let's just go and do the second Anatolian industrialization. Although the national economy scheme has already led to the development of much young industry in Anatolia, the government sees much room for improvement in what the, was only three years ago one of the poorer regions of the empire. A variety of industries in construction, tobacco, textile, etc. will serve as the backbone of the new project. Infrastructure. No, that's a waste of time right now. Boom. Build. 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 Because I haven't really been paying attention to this because there's been no point. Literally no point to. So the Persians are slowly coming through here as we're failing to kill off the Yemeni. How? How? Are you going to win or are you going to lose? This is literally just keeping us up the entire time. 
Excavation 3 is good, though. That's, that's actually really nice. Uh, radar would be nice. Get some artillery. We're completely out of everything. Ooh, actually. Tigris River has been lost. Uh, we could do that. We could increase centralization up there. How about over here? No, we're doing okay. Anything around here? We could raise it up a little bit more. Beirut. It's still pretty low. We can't do anything down there. I'm going to actually increase centralization. Let me do that. There you go. There you go. That's a little better. Oh, man. I am going to butcher these Yemen people. I swear to God. Like, <laughs> once we are fully strong enough. Oh, man. They are going to be... They wish that they weren't even born alive. Like, what we're going about to do to them. Mmm. I don't want to get kicked off YouTube yet. <laughs> That's how bad it's going to be. Actually, no. You guys are going to naval invade. All right. I can't care less about pressure right now. Uh, we could probably actually take these guys out too, but now nah, we're okay. We're gonna go straight for the port. Oh, don't tell me we don't have. How? Why don't we start with that? Look, I know the Ottoman Empire isn't that strong, but even they can figure out how to put guys on a boat, right? I guess I'm. I guess I'm not right because that's that's stupid. We can't naval invade. Are you kidding me? The Ottoman Empire still exists. That means they still has have at least a little bit of power. They cannot figure out how to put guys on a boat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Why? You're just like, Debs. Why? Why do you do this? Like, for what purpose? Failure of the Halifax Conference. Well, good luck with that. East Turkestan wants to send officers for training. The new state of East Turkestan has recently grown closer out. Can go closer without government. It seems that the plans for cooperation have been realized. The government sent a request to ours asking that our military train some of their officers to make their army more ready to defend the state against enemies from both without and within. Supply costs, though small, could be a justification to refuse them. We don't have supplies. Hell, why not? Why not? At least we can bolster our army's our defense up there, but that's going to take some time to get up there. If that's the case. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about using these guys as well, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I really want to use cavalry anymore because these guys are god awful. We also don't have supplies, but still. I don't know. Uh, come on. I understand why it has high resistance, but still, come on. Actually, can we put down more resistance? Can we do this? Not yet. That's fine. Can't do that either. It just. it. Like, it's one thing if, like, China can't navally invade. It's another thing if, like, you know, even, even, maybe the King of Siam, maybe? But the Ottoman Empire, of all places, doesn't know how to put guys on a boat to do stuff like that. I mean, the devs probably purposefully made sure that we can't navally invade. If anything, we just go to Port Said and then take out the Suez and cut all these guys off. But we're not going to attack yet. <clears throat> We need more time to get more strength for our guys, because as long as we don't attack, we'll get quite a few guns. So that's actually pretty good. And you know what? I'm actually going to throw you guys over here. You could probably use that more defense. Let's let time go on a little bit more. Put down some more resistance. Watch the world burn as the Germans are kicking some French booty. Wow. That's a lot. And the Carlos are not doing bad, too, either. Even though the Union of Britain is doing really well in Northern Africa. Wow. This looks like a really ugly Slovakia. I'm sorry. That does not look very good. But, you know what, that's really bad for the Reichspact, even though... Yeah, actually, they're not doing too bad. They're really not doing too bad. I mean, they kept Minsk and the Ukraine, and they're pushing down this well into France? Woo! That's not too bad. Germany, what have you been doing? These guys are fighting their hearts out. The fall of... Oh, the fall of Rome. Gonna aid your boon? Well, all right, then lose. So be it. Beirut's not looking too bad, though. If that's the case, we've already maxed them out. We could get even, like, literally no resistance down there. But we'll see what happens. You guys are doing pretty well down there. How's this area looking over here? We're going to do this. Do that. There you go. Hey, more uh, building slots. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, finally, things through my rage throughout this episode. And I do apologize for raging quite a bit. I really do apologize about that. But it is what it is. Um, we're doing better. We're finally doing better. Despite us not being able to naval invade. <laughs> but whatever. Alright, so you guys. Uh, you guys are actually not that bad. You actually have... 
Mm, I want to say you're better than... Actually, how's the Mountaineers? They're not looking that good. We have nothing to spare right now, anyways. Hmm. 1.8. Nice. Our guys have gotten up here, which is awesome. Very low. If we can do it like that, we could probably get even more stuff done up there. I was just looking. Not too bad, either. But we've managed to hold them off. We've lost 180,000. We've killed off over half a million. I mean, for what purpose do they rise up to kill this many people off? Like, it doesn't make any sense. But we're not going to attack yet again. We've got to wait until we get enough strength. we just got to get enough strength. That's all that matters right now. Very low. That's not bad. Medium. Let's order that. There you go. That's better. That actually should give us some more defense on core territory, too. So, Come on, Persia. Keep attacking. Keep trying to attack. They got a lot of manpower. Woo! And they're running out of equipment, too, which is a beautiful thing to see. Hopefully we get some research done soon. And at least no one else is trying to go to war with us, right? Right? Right, Austria? You don't want to go to war with us, right? Oh, they're... Oh, they got still Boro Blur. They'll probably go to war with these guys, too, eventually. Let's see, Venice. Oh, they're puppet under Giuseppe. And yeah, Carl's still here. How is Russia doing? Nikolai Bu Oh, Bukharin is here. Oh, I didn't realize Bukharin was here. That's cool. You guys have a lot of divisions, led by the very, very tired, I bet. Wilhelm II, second Anatolian industrialization. And let's grab this. Sumer Bank Investments. In cornerstone of the OHF industrialization model, the Sumer Bank serves as the primary investor and controller of our rapidly expanding industrial assets. Although it has a hand in most sectors of the four-year plan, its primary focus is on the development of the Turkish textile industry, after which initial successes in Anatolia have been expanded on own. Oh, there goes the, the Dominion. I'm seeing a lot of red. I'm not really too pleased about this. I'm not sure what else to say, though. I think I've already said a lot in this episode regarding my thoughts on this, so. Ay, 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 ay. All but you do that. But you just stay kind of home. How? Four divisions while we're entrenched and we get air superiority? They're beating us up? Don't tell me that Egypt is not strong enough. They are by far more than strong enough to do whatever they need to do. Hey, I got another destroyer, though. Fall of Algiers. Oh, boy. Bye-bye, Algiers. Another shippy? Why not? There you go. Great artillery is always good. And we'll grab... Eh, military place, we could do that. Eh, why not? That helps with, resist with resistance, right? Any other place is very low down here. It's low. It could be even very low, too. Anything over here? Uh, no, one over there. It's low. How about Beirut itself? Nice. We can't do that. Very low. I like it very low. Hey, military factory is nice. We, we're, let's go and trade away for some of this, though. There you go. I'll, I'll gladly do that. That's fine for now. Grab more guns. We need more guns, 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 guns. Infinite supplies. That is called Egypt. Infinite supplies. Uh, you guys come over here too. That'd be good. Infinite strength Egypt. At least this part is looking pretty good. Even though I'll probably release Arabia again and then just see if I can get anything special from them because it doesn't make sense why, like, like, I've already explained that earlier. I don't want to explain it again. I don't want to rage too much anymore. I think I've done my raging for the day. <laughs> I'll have you guys come down here. You should you should do okay. Anyone have upgrades? Go with Ambusher. Murder max entrenchment. Any other upgrades? We've got 40 command power. We've got more than enough to spare. Yes, no, maybe so. Uh, you know, go defensive. Why not? I said offensive, but whatever. Central America joined the Third International. Spain is gone. I still have three divisions up there, kind of hanging out. And we're still struggling. Hey, we actually got the place. Wow, we actually got a place. Go figure. That actually worked. They're still attacking down here. And they're still attacking over here. What a bunch of crazies. Sam. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Civilian oversight's the best. I wish this was like Old World Blues, though. Where we could get like more compliance or something. Or at least focus on putting down more resistance at a time. I would really like something like that. Anything else? Oh, Gear and Revolt is gone. Eh, not really needing to do that one. 
Very low. None. Beautiful. None. It's low. Ooh, let's wait do we, so we can centralize it a little bit more and give it some time. That'll be okay. Nice, not bad. Not bad. Famine in the Persian Gulf. Oh, come on. Hurt by the hardships of the World War, the situation has reached the breaking point in the Persian Gulf as a severe drought has further exacerbated the already hungry people. No rain has fallen since last year, and the situation has already been reported on the ground is highly critical. In fact, cattle and camels are in such an emaciated condition that if rain does, does occur within the next few weeks, it's more likely than that they will be unable to withstand the consequent cold explosion will perish. In the Ras al Kaima, rice and sugar become in such a source of supply that people begin to boil and squeeze date sacks in order to extract the last drops from them. Mazari traders have left their families with their families and gone to Kenya in hopes of finding food there, whilst others have set sail for the Mesopotamian Delta in the hopes of receiving support from local governments. Oh yeah, we got stuff down here we gotta deal with too. Medium. Uh that's not bad. Medium. Well let's at least do this uh, twenty one thousand. Oh uh, yeah let's do this one first. That'll be better. I was going to do that other stuff up north, but as long as we can core this area and not have too many, too much badness happening here. Hey, less than uh, 20,000 guns. That's not bad. They keep attacking. They keep losing, which is good. Supply. Only in Damascus area is it bad. So that's Sam. Or Damascus. Why is it called Sam, then? Huh. Interesting. Anything else around here? I mean, yeah, we're going to get... Actually, our fuel's doing okay, too. Not bad. Oh, crap. Uh, I forgot that we still need to research those invaders but that'll happen naturally eventually we'll get there eventually yeah i don't know whoever designed that to take away like invading from the ottomans or why they don't start with it makes absolutely no point for example did it would why would we not be able to invade cyprus if we knew that they would rebel eventually that does not make sense just does not make sense come on egypt you have infinite supplies so come on uh, if I attack here, uh, how many battalions? They've up to 10, huh? What do we got here? Not bad. We could use some tanks eventually. Artillery would be really good as well, but hey, either way, we're not doing too badly. But I think I'll end the episode here. Uh, actually, let's get through one more focus first. Let's get through one more focus, and then we'll call an episode. I know this video's gone long enough, and if you're still watching, I do appreciate your you guys watching. Gosh darn. The Germans are putting in some serious work with their allies. Oh. Oh, wow. The Entente's really pathetic, though. Oh, there goes the uh, combined syndicates here. They <laughs> they smashed down the middle of the American Union state. Wow. That is a little uh, scary, to say the least. Cool. No resistance. Minimal resistance. And start working on resistance here. Cool. And we shall end this episode uh, with what? Abolish full neutrality. No. Naval slots. That's kind of okay. Army engineering schools. Adirna. That might be pretty good to do, but let's do continue the naval Ottoman project. Our navy has never been spectacular many times ever to improve it, and modernize the navy has been put on hold for more pressing concerns. Not anymore. Now we shall see to the creation of a grand fleet to eclipse any we have built before. So, we shall end the episode here. I apologize once again for being ragey earlier, but, I mean, it was just frustrating down here. I hope you understand that. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Regardless, if you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will finish this war. I promise you that. Have a great rest of your day.